Here I'm going to go over the process of drying uh, cannabis. Now, when we think about drying, we have a hair dryer, we think about uh, putting clothes out in the line to dry. Uh, some methods are quicker, some methods are slower, and there's advantages and disadvantages to both. So I'll try to present the proper way uh, to dry cannabis. So the importance of drying, first off, regardless of what process you choose, so it's, this is a, uh, drying is very critical. It can make or break the end product that you have. Freshly harvested material will have little potency and will burn very poorly. So this just speaks to the importance of having a drying process. Uh, the goal of the drying process is to have an even slow progression uh, to allow a high quality end product to be sold or um, used. Now this drying process, uh, fresh green buds that are, are full of moisture and that would cause them to have a potentially diluted kind of like poor taste and to burn unevenly. So if you're just to pick a bud right off of, um, right off the plant and smoke it or add heat to it, um, it's not gonna it's gonna have that high moisture content. And you're not gonna get really the potency there. You're gonna kind of that greenish uh, taste that's usually referred to as. Uh, proper drying will remove about 75% of the moisture, which will concentrate the taste uh, when smoked and also concentrate those uh, cannabinoids. This drying process that takes a slow um, time for plants over a week is better than trying to speed dry the material. Uh, so that 75% that's lost, we don't want that to occur on one day. We want to have a slow dry down process um, to, as that will produce a higher quality end product. Uh, a lot of growers believe in hanging the plants, cutting them down and hanging them. Uh, hanging the plants upside down is a, an okay way to dry them. Uh, that's fine. But it will not help drain the cannabinoids to the flowers. Uh, so this is a good way to dry them, but don't think it's going to help increase the cannabinoids by having them flow down to the buds now with the force of gravity. That's an old myth. Cannabinoids are fixed in the plant and will not move based on the position during the drying process. So again, hanging them upside down is a great way to dry them, but don't think it's going to concentrate cannabinoids in any way. Faster speed drying is not advised. Uh, quick drying will result in the end product that burns with a harsh smoke, that kind of greenish kind of taste, as I had said. Uh, often it's not the goal when seeking to produce a high quality end product. Heat that's often added will reduce the drying time to only a few hours, which may sound great, uh, but if you dry it with too much heat, about over 200 degrees Fahrenheit, that can degrade cannabinoids. Often they'll need to be uh, dried and then maybe re-dried after they're allowed to kind of go through a sweating process, put in the container. Uh, so that can just, sweating could potentially cause some moisture to build up, could cause some mold to develop. Uh, some other growers will actually dice up the buds and cut them up, uh, but this is not really a preferred method since most end users want to see and inspect the full intact bud, as that's a sign of higher quality. Dry time should be about five to seven plus days or so uh, to allow for uniform um, drying with minimal cannabinoid breakdown. That desiccation process, that drying slow process is advised. Large leaves from plants can be removed at harvest to help in even in more drying. This drying process you can think of kind of like aging wine in barrels here. Slower and longer is typically revered as better in producing a higher end product. Same here can be applied to cannabis.